Good morning all. Welcome back to my class. Today we are going to learn the rest of the lesson Androcles and the Lion. Once a slave named Androcles escaped from his master and fled to the forest. There he saw a lion. It was in great pain. He found that a huge thorn stuck in its paw. Androcles helped to pull out the thorn from the paw. One day the Roman soldiers arrested him and thrown into the jail. They told that he would have to fight a hungry lion and if he won he would be free. Turn your textbook to page number 10. Look at your textbook. At last the day came when Androcles had to face the lion. Hundreds of Romans had gathered to watch him fight the lion. Androcles stood at the center of his stadium. He closed his eyes, prayed and waited. Soon he heard a roaring sound. He thought it was the lion. But no, it was the roaring noise made by the audience. They were tired of waiting and wanted to see Androcles being torn into pieces by the lion. They were shouting for the lion. All of a sudden there was silence. Androcles was taken to the stadium. Hundreds of Romans were eagerly waited. For what? They wanted to see the lion torn Androcles into pieces. Androcles stood at the center of the stadium. He prayed and waited for the lion. Suddenly he heard a roaring sound. He thought it was the lion. but it was the noise made by the audience all of a sudden there was pin drop silence in the stadium androcles lifted his head and looked around he saw a huge lion in one corner of the stadium the lion was thin and looked starved it was hungry and roaring in anger it saw androcles standing at the center of the stadium The lion came charging towards Androcles. Poor Androcles closed his eyes and prayed. The lion came nearer and nearer. Androcles could feel the lion's breath on his face. The lion came right up to Androcles and stopped. To the great surprise of the excited Romans, the lion began to purr like a kitten. It went up to Androcles and licked him and rubbed against him happily. He lifted his head. He saw a huge lion was standing in the corner of the stadium. The lion was thin because it didn't get food. The lion found Androcles. The lion came charging towards him. Androcles was so frightened. The lion came near to him and suddenly it stopped. It began to purr like a kitten. It licked and rubbed him. Androcles opened his eyes and there in front of him was the lion he had helped in the forest. Androcles played with the lion. He then got on to the lion's back and rode around in the stadium. No one dared stop him. And that is how Androcles' small act of kindness to an animal helped him get his freedom. Androcles opened his eyes. He found that the lion who was stood in front of him was the lion he had helped in the forest. He was so happy and he got on to the lion's back and rode around in the stadium. That's how his small act of kindness would help him to set free. The moral of the story is don't hesitate to help a person who is in trouble. Your good deed will be rewarded one day. That's all for the day. Thank you.